Well, my prediction wasn't great, was it? I thought we, I thought we beat City today. Um, we've just been beaten five 0 in the Premier League. Wow, wow. Um, this is the player ratings video. I mean, everyone was fucking shit today. Everyone was absolutely crap. Um, the red card is obviously the biggest talking point. It's the, the thing that turned the game on its head. Um, we were we were well in it until that point. We still weren't defending particularly well, but neither were they. Salah had so many chances. The red card happens, and I guess you probably want my opinion on that. It seems to have split people. Um, it's, it's sort of 50-50 on whether it's a red or not. Uh, look, you can call me biased, but I don't think it's a red card at all. Um, his eyes are on the ball. I know John Moss can't see that, but his eyes are on the ball. Uh, Edison's come out. City's defence is all over the place. Edison comes out to try and sweep up. Ducks his head towards the ball. Um... And Mane, Mane clatters into him with, with his right foot, which you, know, you, you see these things. You see these things all the time. That m the best chance Mane's got of ha getting that ball is by getting his foot to it. Um, obviously, it's unfortunate what happens to Edison. Glad he's okay. Um, it's a collision. It's football. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a referee, and you know, I, I'm not necessarily the the best person to talk about decisions. But for me, it felt really, really harsh. It spoiled the game. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I, I don't disrespect anyone that thinks differently on that. I, if you think it's a red, then fair enough. Uh, for me, it wasn't. Um, but that doesn't that doesn't take away from how a how good City were, especially uh, you know once once it was eleven v ten, City were absolutely superb, um, and we we just showed no bottle. We just showed no desire to get back into it. Uh, we completely rolled over for them. Um, so, I mean, I'll get onto each individual player. I don't want to spend too long talking about this game. I just want to forget about it. Uh, I've embarrassed myself with the prediction um, that we were going to come out and win something like 3-1. Um, so, Mignolet, I mean, I can't really fault him. Um, he made a couple of great saves. Um, you know, he's probably a 6 out of 10 for me today. Trent Alexander-Arnold was absolutely dreadful. Um, I hate saying that. I like him a lot. I think he had a good start to the season. Played well in the Champions League. But today, he took too long on the ball. He didn't look comfortable. He, he attracted too much pressure. Um, three out of ten. Matip, three out of ten. This guy is not good enough to be Liverpool's best centre back. It's a disgrace that he's our best centre back. Um, he, he, he does have good games, and I think against Crystal Palace he was very good. I think against Arsenal he was very good. Um, but he's got to be better than what he was today, positionally. Um, just nowhere near, nowhere near right. Ragnar Klavan, even worse. One out of ten for him. Uh, I, I mean, I wasn't upset when I saw that he was starting, but it's just a sorry state of affairs that we're lining up against Man City with Ragnar Klavan starting at centre-back when we don't even have any injuries in that position and Ragnar Klavan's playing for us. Uh, look, I made my feelings clear on Van Dijk and the fact that it was drift, a really poor win, though, the fact that we failed to address the centre-back situation. I was told by a lot of people that, that don't worry, Lovren's OK, we'll be OK, we've got to pursue our good side. Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's a, disc it's a farce that we didn't bring in a better centre-back than Radnor Clavin and Dan Lovren uh, to partner with John Matip, who isn't even that good this season. Uh, Moreno didn't actually do much wrong today. I'm probably going to give him a five. Um, I thought he was pretty solid. Uh, yeah, not a fault for any of the goals. Midfield, Henderson was dreadful. Uh, well, four out of ten. Um, didn't really show much leadership out there. Didn't, didn't really grab it by the scruff of the neck. Just let the game pass him by, really. His passing wasn't great either. Vinaldum let the game pass him by. He's a three out of ten. Uh, just not nowhere to be seen today. Emery Chan didn't think he was as bad as as, as his teammates. Um, I'll give him a five out of ten. And when he went to centre back, he's probably our best defender uh, in the second half. And he was okay in midfield early on. Uh, on to the uh, attackers now. Mohamed Salah obviously had a, saw a lot of the ball. He was the main outlet first half. He's got to take. He's got to have some more composure. He had he had Otamendi on toast. His pace was blistering, obviously. Um, his movement was great, but his end product let him down. So it's a five out of ten. Firmino tried his heart out uh, until sort of I don't know the half time really when City started to pull away from us. So, um, but his his final product again wasn't there. Five out of ten. Sergio Mane was was always a danger. Um, I think if Salah's finishing was better, he might have had a couple of assists to his name. Um, he gets sent off. <sighs> Four out of ten, I suppose. I mean, he gets sent off. So even if I think it was harsh, that's all that can be said on that. The subs, Oxlade-Chamberlain, they get in the game. Four out of ten. Um, Solanke 
five out of ten, so one nice turn I think, and, but just hasn't really got much pace. And we were just going through the motions really. James Milner four out of ten, whatever. Um, look, we've been absolutely battered. I, I, I hasn't I haven't hasn't really really settled in my mind yet. Um, it's been five nil at Man City. As 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 for where we go from here, I'm not gonna panic too much. Uh, I haven't really learned anything new today. I knew our defence wasn't good enough. You all did. Um, I knew Salah's finishing was was uh, iffy. Uh, we know that some of the midfielders can go missing in games, but generally they are still. We have still got a good midfield as far as I'm concerned. Um, Mane is obviously out for three games now, unless it's rescinded. Coutinho to come back in. That's the the real bit of hope that I have. Um, we are still going to score a lot of goals this season. Um, the defence isn't good enough. Hopefully we can address it in January. I still think it's a disgrace that we didn't address it in August properly. What a fucking horrible day. What a horrible, horrible afternoon. Man City 5, Liverpool 0. What a performance for Man City though. I've got to say, Mendy was superb. His delivery is absolutely staggering. De Bruyne was... It's one of the best performances I've ever seen from a creative midfielder. Uh, Fernandinho was great. I mean, one of the reasons Van Aldum was so poor is because Fernandinho was just a bit stronger than him. You, you rarely see Van Aldum get out muscled, outplayed in midfield, but Fernandinho did exactly that today. So fair play. Obviously, Aguero and Jesus uh, were were staggering too. Two absolute sensational strikers. So look, City are the best squad in the league. Um, is it going to be a two-horse race between them and United? Maybe so. Obviously, if it is, then I hope City do win the league. Um, I still like to think we will be in with a shout. Uh, but the fact is we've just been beaten 5 0, so at the moment it's hard to hard to really think about us as title contenders. Um and I, look, I'm sorry for my predictions in the uh, preview last night. I said I thought we'd win today, I said I said I can't see us not scoring. Um we've just been beaten 5 0, so I don't look the most intelligent man on the planet. But look guys, Wednesday, Champions League's back, Coutinho will be back soon, Mane can play in that game as well. Let's keep our chins up. Um, hope the meltdown on Twitter isn't too severe. No pun intended. Oh, again, I'm sorry for the downbeat nature. Um, trying to remain slightly positive. Um, there's no positives to take from the game, of course, other than the fact that we weren't dangerous in the first 20-25 minutes. We've just been fucking battered.